we have learned that the root cause of almost all conditions including obesity and hypertension is type 2 diabetes we have also known that it is hyperinsulinemia that causes type 2 diabetes so if we can find some way that significantly reduces the elevated insulin levels in the body we can eliminate 90% of the problems yes it is not an exaggeration most health professionals consider type 2 diabetes a chronic and progressive disease this promotes the idea that type 2 diabetes is a one way street a life sentence with no possibility of parole they say that the condition continually worsens until patients eventually require insulin injections however this is a false claim but let us first understand why these doctors believe that type 2 diabetes is irreversible and has no cure there is a good reason though most doctors believe that some of the beta cells in the pancreas have irreversibly worn out because of the body's continuous production of insulin due to overeating carbohydrates and sugars they conclude that the remaining beta cells overwork to keep up with the high demand for insulin production and would also be at increased risk of collapsing therefore they give insulin injections to reduce the body's burden in keeping up with the high demand the insulin injections keep the blood sugar levels low by stuffing the excess sugars in the blood into the cells ultimately converting that sugar into body fat or visceral fat anyway the doctors are only concerned about maintaining healthy blood glucose levels they are least worried about the excess glucose stored deep within the body this raises a common sense question why is it acceptable to keep glucose within the body in the form of fat whereas it is not when glucose is in the blood right the answer they give is that the benefits far outweigh the risks unfortunately they are wrong one should ask them another straightforward question if hyperinsulinemia causes insulin resistance within the body then why are the doctors giving additional insulin through insulin injections is it for generating more insulin resistance worsening the existing condition these are thought provoking questions questioning the intentions of these medical professionals are they doing what they were told to do so or are they doing this because of their genuine ignorance or a lack of sufficient knowledge so please don't fall any more for the lies the doctors have been propagating regarding this well they have to do that and mislead people otherwise how will they earn their living right some doctors do it deliberately and some do it ignorantly that is they just repeat what they were taught in their medical schools without really understanding the truth for themselves or relying on any kind of studies or anything the remaining doctors are not nutritionists to advise their patients so they deliberately avoid it because they don't want to get into trouble losing their medical licenses or getting sued etc but i must admit that very few doctors genuinely educate people on nutrition having said that about the medical professionals let us do one thing let us put conventional wisdom aside and correctly understand how type 2 diabetes affects the human body again let me quiz you on this what causes type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes is caused by insulin resistance which is caused as a result of hyperinsulinemia so if there is a constant intake of refined carbohydrates 
and sugars in our diets, not only will there be tremendous pressure on the beta cells of the pancreas to produce more and more insulin to keep up with the demand of the body, but also all this excess sugar will be converted into highly saturated triglycerides. These triglycerides or fat molecules get stored as visceral fat or body fat, right? We understood that earlier. If this visceral fat accumulates in and around the pancreas, it clogs the beta cells and makes them temporarily ineffective. The condition when too much fat is gathered around the pancreas is called pancreatitis. It is more common in people than we think. If anyone has belly fat, he has the condition named pancreatitis in 99% of the cases. So in that case, the beta cells of the pancreas will not be able to produce enough insulin to meet the demands of the body. As I mentioned earlier, the doctors assume that this is a chronic and irreversible condition because there is no drug cure. However, if we can somehow change our diets and burn all that belly fat, some studies have shown that the beta cells in the pancreas will be unclogged and their normal function will be restored, thus reversing type 2 diabetes and obesity in one shot. However, if belly fat is not the cause of your type 2 diabetes, it is most likely insulin resistance because of too much insulin in your body. In such a case, if we can somehow bring down the insulin production, we will be naturally cured of insulin resistance and hence type 2 diabetes. We need to find that out in you through trial and error method. So did you observe that I mentioned that diet is the only solution in both cases? Diet is the only way to reverse type 2 diabetes, obesity, and hypertension. If the diet is perfect for your specific body type, we should be able to achieve remission within a month or even quicker in some cases. If you are obese, the perfect diet will restore your leptin sensitivity in your hypothalamus. When that is restored, you will start feeling full whenever you have enough food and you will naturally not eat more. In this case, all your hormones will begin working harmoniously, again, restoring your optimal body function. You will have no diabetes and you will maintain a perfect BMI. Now, if you follow the diet and do some regular exercise, like walking at least 30 minutes a day, even the blood flow in your body will improve eliminating conditions like erectile dysfunction in men, peripheral artery disease, peripheral neuropathy, etc. Now, go ahead and schedule your first free consultation call if you have not already done so. I'm excited to work with you. I will see you there.